Good morning, everyone. I hope you are doing fine. So today our group is going to present uh, uh, about an information technology and computer programming project. So uh, our team actually took a case of XYZ uh, Hotel. But before we start presenting and explaining the concept, uh, I'm going first to introduce our group members. There is Fadhilur Rahman, and Afifa Rabani, and finally me, Rakush Manasomni of Saradinda. So next slide, please. Okay, so about the main profile, like the company profile, the name is XYZ Hotel. It is located in Jalan Wantu Trili Maumanis Pau, Kota Padang, Sumatera Barat, Indonesia, uh, in the uh, 2020. Oh my God, 25,163, I'm sorry. So about the history, uh, as I mentioned before, it is located in Padang, uh, Sumatra Barat, Indonesia. It was actually started to build in 2010, but officially launched on October 15, uh, 2015. So starting from them, it was managed by Zatia M. It is actually the owner. And starts from 2015, every year it receives local and international guests so nowadays it is offering services such as accommodations, hotel facilities, breakfast, tea time, free parking, free Wi-Fi, and etc. Um, about the value of the XYZ hotel. So actually, since uh, it's aiming uh, national and international uh, sector, it's actually uh, try to reach quality, excellence, quality of services pro uh, by uh, proposing some, as I said, like facilities, and also by promoting uh, promoting Indonesia, especially Minangkabau culture. So the atmosphere, everything, the design, and everything was actually inspired by this concept. So the value uh, that is based for the XYZ hotel, the first one is integrity. We are talking be about integrity between staff member and also toward customer hospitality, of course, the, towards like, Mm, family sense and also to the customers health of course passion of the customers here we are talking uh about uh positive and like something that impacts the customers and also finally the commitment like being open if for example the customer needs something so they will provide it uh the hotel says like uh what they like what they do they really do it and also they do what they say so yeah that's it <laughs> next slide please so the the vision of the xyz hotel actually it is aimed like to provide a unique and own hotel in a unique location as i already stated before but with a touch of their own personality so with a committed to like a service excellent and united by a passion for our design and Minangkabau culture, of course, since it is located in Padang. And the XYZ Hotel actually is also a solvent, profitable, consolidated, and family-run company. So the theme is really competent, uh, professionals, and is passionate with the project, uh, share values to offer to their customers uh, in order to provide the maximum satisfaction for them. So the type of uh, clients that are received in XYZ Hotel, there are two kinds of clients. First one is the business customers and the second one is laser customers. The business customer, we are talking about those who, who are actually reserving the room in for business uh, goals. So we are talking about representative, salespeople and et cetera, like those who are, who have a business thing to do in the hotel and to discuss about it, maybe about the project and something like that. The laser customers is like those apart from the business customers. So we're talking about maybe families or, or friends who are couples, like, uh, like we are not talking about business, but we are there for maybe having fun or maybe if they want to discover about the pattern culture and everything, so they want to stay in the hotel. And yeah, that's all, thank you. Next slide, please. So the payment method for the customer in order to make a reservation, they can actually make it online through the website by using MasterCard or Visa card, also by cash, since like maybe they arrive in the hotel so they can directly pay during the check-in or the checkout, it depends on them, and also finally by using check. 
So that's all for me, like for the instance, uh, Afifa is going to give more details about the next slide. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Karinda. The, company, uh, the next is the company's main business operational activities. So the main business operational activities of XYZ Hotel are proposing accommodation services with several types of rooms and as follow, as you can see in, uh, on the table on the screen. Next. Uh, then the identification of weaknesses or difficulties faced by the company because they do not have a, they do not have a database. The current system has several weaknesses. In fact, the XYZ hotel management is using paperwork and direct human language communication by mouth to deal with everything. Problems of current system. First, it's hard to locate the guest files since everything is made manually and there's a large number of guest files. It's hard to manage this part. Second, the storage may take a lot of spaces in the hotel. Third, human and computational errors are really frequent. Fourth, it's hard to generate records, so some important data have been forgotten and accidentally deleted by the employees. And last, it is also hard to do data analysis, especially when the accountants want to analyze the guest data during generation of expenditure bills. And the company's new needs for data management that arise due to business expansion and others. One, database for XYZ hotel management. For XYZ hotel management, a database is used to to store and manipulate data, this database will be in an organi organized collection of or structured data. Two, data management for XYZ, Ho XYZ Hotel Management. For the XYZ Hotel Management, data management encompasses, encompasses all data management processes, tools, and techniques. It refers to the entire process of ingesting, storing, organizing, and maintaining data created or collected by XYZ Hotel. Three, the, data, the management of XYZ Hotel. The management of XYZ Hotel is part of the hotel require, requiring new data management. In fact, they plan to develop computer systems for administration of guests, rooms, and a room reservation. And four is the proposed system. Our team aims to help the management of the XYZ Hotel are to first to enable the to computerize some parts of the management booking process. Second is to enable automated data entry methods, which will be really effective for the management of the hotel, and also to give access to an easy and fast authorized editing of data. And uh, there's two, also to facilitate the management by automatically generating the hotel guest data, the rooms that are reserved, such as reserves, available, unoccupied, unoccupied, and occupied. All transactions that will be made within the hotel, the check-in and check-out data, etc. And also to ensure good communication within the hotel to, and to avoid data entry errors by use of input and adequate output. And I think that's all from me. Okay, thank Next. you. Okay. I, I will explain it. So the company new need, the next one is the tools that will be used for this new system. The first is the data gathering tools, such so like observation method, interview method, questionnaire method, and document revision. The next one is a desktop computer, computer to run all the software. The software used is the Microsoft Access, and we also need the internet connection, cloud storage, and a website. The pros and cons using this new system is the advantage of this new system to have uh, access to an easy and fast system to the guest files. 
The next one is to have better data management facilities and to improve performance evaluation of the employees. The next one, to lower the data security threats by getting security measurement to access the hotel information. The next one, to ensure the best service output to the, so the XYZ hotel can improve customer satisfaction. The next one, to update the guest records easily, fastly, and securely. The next one is to reduce the data entry and processing errors. So for the disadvantage of this new system, there will be an extra cost of updating to keep the system competitive and running well. There will be an extra cost on the electricity bills due to use of computerization of the XYZ hotel management. And training of the employees is required to so they can understand how to manage the system and avoid processing errors. So for the company database, we are using Microsoft Access to create it. The database consists of five tables, admission table as main table, accommodation table as main table, the booking table as main table, guest table as main table, and the room table as connecting table. The three forms are the admission form, guest form, and booking form. The three queries are cash payment method queries, foreign guest queries, and guest in quarter for 2021 queries. The reports are cash payment method report, foreign guest report, and income in quarter for 2021 report. So the tables will be explained by Linda. Time is yours. Okay, uh, thank you, Fadil. So I'm going to explain about tables. As Fadil already mentioned, like there are uh, five tables, four main tables and one connecting table. So the first one is booking table. So actually this one aims to contain all the data um, about like uh, the room in the XYZ hotel to manage it effectively. Uh, okay, sorry. Um, and in these uh, tables, uh, can we move to the next slide? Sorry, to see the design view. Okay, so here is actually the booking table design view. You have the date and time, like in, uh, for the booking. Also, ID number, it is actually auto number. So it is the registration number of the guest that will be input by the, by the employee, sorry. The name of the guest, the first name, the date of birth, the gender also it is mentioned in the gender. Actually, it is, um, uh, sorry, we add a, a validation rule of F for female or M for male. So like this, when the, the employee type it, they have the choice like in order to enter this data. Also the nationality, where they come from, the ID card number. Here we are talking about national or international identity card. So it can be the, the identity card or the passport. Um, the check-in date. Uh, for the yeah for the customer when they arrive in the hotel and also the checkout date the fun the phone number uh, email also it is important like so we can contact the like the team can contact them or maybe send some emails newsletter and and etc and also room type so which kind of room they actually want to reserve so this one also has a validation rule as we mentioned before, like there are several types of rooms, the single room, double room, double care room, the suite room or familiar room. And finally, the reservation type. Uh, here also, there is uh, some rules that we input. We are talking about, uh, uh, sorry, I, I can hear someone's voice. Can you please turn it up?
Okay, thank you. Uh, we continue about the reservation type. This also there is validation room. We're talking about offline or online. So as I already mentioned before, the online we're talking about reservation through the website, maybe through a Visa card or MasterCard. And the offline, it can be during the check-in or check-out or through the, the check as I mentioned before also. Okay, next slide, please. The next slide is about admission table. This one actually, uh, uh, like we have all the data about the guests that will be input in the reception desk. So we went, uh, the team of XYZ uh, hotel management aims actually to track the duration of every guest staying in the hotel. So uh, can we move to the view table, please? So yeah, this is actually the design, uh, the design view. So uh, the first one is the ID number, uh, auto number, and the name, first name, date of birth, like the data about the guest. Uh, also the check-in date, date and check-out date, the room type, and the room number. This one actually contain the the number, uh, like uh, which number, which room the guest uh, will be occupied so it will be easy to track like if this room will be occupied unoccupied or not and also it will be easy to, to track all the guests that are uh, about it okay um uh, sorry okay next is about the admission table um uh next slide i'm sorry next slide please okay the accommodation table in this one, uh, we are talking about all the details about the accommodation of the guest. So yeah, in order to identify the, the guest like with his or her room. So can we go to the, the design view, please? Okay. Oh, sorry, a previous, previous, previous slide, I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, you can. Okay, I will explain. So about the design view, there is the ID number, the name, like all the data, uh, all the data about the guest, and also the room type, room number, and we also mentioned the price per night. Uh, we are talking uh, about tracking all the payment also, and also the, the total payment that we have to make. So we are considering the check-in and check-out. So the days of stay of the guests in the hotel and also the payment method. Here we also add a validation rule. We are talking about MasterCard or Visa card that we mentioned before, uh, or cash or a uh, check. And uh, finally the payment date, like in which time the, the guests made the payment so we can also track it. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, next slide again. So the guest uh, table, um, this one uh, contain all the data of the guests, like we needed maybe to um, the XYZ hotel management needed in order maybe to provide souvenirs, also to send emails, to keep updates and everything about the the actualities in the hotel or maybe some news or some new offers and services. So in order to attract more clients, so it contains all the data about the guests that visit the hotel every day. We are talking about a national and international guests. Um, in the, can we see the design view, please? So the design view, as you can see here, we have the, ID number, of course, the data of uh, about the guest, the name, first name, date of birth, gender, uh, with the validation room uh, rule that I mentioned before. Also the nationality, ID card number, uh, phone number and email. And my, next please. So about the room table, this um, contains uh, all the accommodations like details and also for the the, the rooms. So it actually uh, a mix of data inside of it. So it will help in identifying the guests according to his or their assigned um, room and 
also services and facilities that the XYZ hotel uh, aim to provide to them. So can we see the, the design view, please? Okay, so in this one, as you can see here, we have ID number, room type, uh, bed size also. In the bed size, our team uh, actually put some validation rule. Um, we, oh, I don't know, sorry, uh, we didn't put it, but there is some types of bed size, like several types of it. And also the number of uh, guests, like how many guests will be in the, in the room, other facilities. Uh, the facilities, we put some validation room, like maybe uh, about the Wi-Fi, breakfast, also private uh, bathroom and and uh, everything. So yeah, in order to to track all the facilities that are taken by the the, the guests, also the number of rooms that there are available and also price per night. Okay, thank you. Um, so the next is about the connecting table. So actually a connected table um, aims like to, to associate several tables. As I already mentioned before, there are four main tables and um, one connecting table. So in this case, the, the one uh, that is a connecting table is the booking table. But the primary key that we took is the ID number known as the registration registration number as described in the in the access that I showed you before. Uh, so this the booking table uh, is the one with no primary key because it will be used in order to create relationships between tables. So next slide please. Okay so here is uh, the connecting table as you can see um, like we took the ID number as the primary case, so we linked it from through the connecting table uh, to create a relationship. So from the accommodation table, we have a relationship one uh, to many, and then also the room table, also one to many, and the room table, uh, wait, sorry, one to many to the booking table, and the booking table, it will be many to one according to the admission table, and also many to one um, to the guest table. Okay, uh, that's all for me. Uh, Afifa is going to explain the next slide. Thank you. Uh, okay, so I will explain about how to make a form. And I would say this is the easiest part of all. So to build a form, the first step is to select the the table or query containing the data you are interested in seeing on your form in the navigation pen, and then go to create tab and the forms group and select form. As you can see, oh, okay, this is not the table the picture, but uh, Access will create a basic form and open it in layout view, and you should be able to see the data you selected. And here is uh, the admission form. Uh, you can design it in anything you want in the design view. And this is the design that we made, the design we made for our form. And why we made this form? We made a, a admission form to, so that we know who and when the client checked in and check it out from our hotel. And next, the, the next form is the guest form, we need this form to know who our clients are and their identity. And the last form is the booking form. We need this form for those clients who want to book our rooms and they can just fill this form. And yeah, I think that's all for me. The next presentation will be by Bang Fadil. Okay, thank you, Matita. So the next one is queries. The first one is the cash payment method queries. As you can see in the queries, we can see the cash payment method from the guest. We are using it to record the cash income. So here is the design view. As you can see, we add uh, the ID number, name, first name, room type, 
total payment, payment method, and payment that from the tables. And on the payment method criteria, we add the cash type. So the, the it, it is filtered the cash payment method automatically. So the next one is the foreign US queries. As you can see, here is the all the foreign guests in our hotel. And as you can see, there are their uh, information such so like the nationality, ID card, date of birth, phone number, and email. So to create the query design, query is we <coughs> we add the ID number from a question table, name, first name, nationality, ID card, date of birth, phone number, and guest type and email. So on the nationality, we, we create the criteria not Indonesia. So it is filtered the non-Indonesian non guest automatically. So the next one is guest in quarter four, 2021 queries. This uh, queries is used to calculate the income in quarter four 2020-21. Here is the design view of the query. In the check-in date, we create the criteria more than uh, one October 2021 and less than 31 December in 2021 and it will automatically filter the guest between this month. So the next one is the report. As you can see here the cash payment method report. In this report we we could get the information of the total payment in cash from the guest. <clears throat> so we can use it for the for calculating the income statement for the foreign guest report we are using it to record all the foreign guest <coughs> foreign guest to our hotel so we can use it to um, wait um, we are using it to calculate how many foreign guests in our hotel and how about the opinion about the difference in language and culture so we can adjust our services for the foreign guests. The next one is the income in quarter four 2021 report. In this report, we, as we can see, the income in quarter four 2021 so the total payment as we received this report is used to to check if our income is increased from uh, the before the quarter three or decrease so that's all our presentation thank you for your attention and see you.